thank you, Jim Goldenberg, for that warm welcome. Now I wonder whether I can surpass that introduction. Thank you all for, for coming. Yes, it should be Flip it on. I may be a bit too loud, but that's okay now. Okay, thank you. Thank you all for coming, and uh, I hope your time will be worth it. That hour, when the spirit comes out to play in the playground of exile, when shadows of the motherland rap on the windows of my heart. That's when I pluck these ashes from the sounds of memory. That's when I pluck these ashes from the agony of exile. That's when I pluck these ashes from the sounds of distance. I bring you a basket of flaming ashes. I bring you this basket of flaming ashes, ashes of ancestral places, inflamed by the songs of distance, ashes of passion forgotten, inflamed by the agony of exile, ashes of lost totems, inflamed by the sounds of memory. I bring you my basket of flaming ashes. The first poem is titled A Song in the Shower. I don't know anybody who hasn't heard somebody sing the shower. You did not know I was listening as you sang in the shower. It was a simple old song, but it jolted the strings of my past. The arrows of water poked my heart when you asked, Where's your mama gone? I answered in Boya, where mama dusted her LP brought from London. You lay that soap and intoned, where's your papa gone? I felt a sting in both eyes and answered by papa's grumpy gramophone, another memory of two lives I carry. You did not see me wipe the tears, nor hear me whisper, far, far away, far See me bury my hair in both hands and rock my body. You came out in your towers smiling. I smiled back and we chorused. Oh, we chap a chap a chip, chip chap a chap a chip. Singing my past, singing my past into my present. Thank you. I'll tell you the story behind this next one. It's titled, Talk to Me. A friend of mine, who is a fellow poet, was on his way to the airport to receive his wife and son, who had been vacationing in Cameroon for three weeks. And over the Christmas break, he had been telling me how much he was missing his family. So I told him, I said, I hope when you get to the airport, you're going to tell your wife how much you missed her. In fact, you have those balloons at the airport, the welcome balloons, you could buy one. He laughed loud and hard. He said, Joyce, I'm an African man, we don't do things like that. <laughs> and he said, you know, my wife should look at me and know that I missed her. I said, really? He said, in fact, I'm going to write a poem about that. And the first line of that poem is going to be, she looked at me and did not understand. I said, okay, and he left for the airport. By the time he got back, he had this poem waiting for him 
in his email. I spoke up not just for his wife, but all the African women who want to hear it in words. Talk to me. I understand the language of your body, the verbs of your fingers, and the nouns of your look, but talk to me tonight. Dress me up in capitals, lowercase me in song. String your letters like beads, adorn my waist in words. Tongue your vowels on my bosom, tickle my brain with consonants. Cool your heat in syllables, just call my name tonight. <laughs> Need I say, I'm still waiting for his point. <laughs> okay, this one is titled uh, Morning Kim Dancer. Uh, Morning Kims were maidens chosen because of their beauty and gait. They were part of the Kim Club, and so they were the envy of the village. And Monikim dance is not just in Manu Division in Cameroon, it's also amongst the Ejagam in Nigeria. Hey, Ruben Mekona, hey, Ruben Mekona. Between your teeth, my morning came dancer. Hey, Ruben. 